Hey everybody, welcome to the VAU Mic Check. Tonight we are doing video game copy. Yay. And we are doing one from a video game that a lot of people know and love, Dragon Age Inquisition. So, we have a bit of a dialogue going on. The most active character being the Seneschal. And there's a wide range of emotional delivery, as you can see by the direction on the left. Gotta listen. So, Gotta listen. it's going to be a lot of fun. And someone, I believe it was Goldie, mentioned playing with an accent with this. So, would you like to play the part of Seneschal first, and she took off her headphones, so she just did not hear me say that. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you actually, I was listening to another thing to remind me of the accent. Ah, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so she did hear me say it, okay. Would you like to volunteer first to play the Seneschal? Uh, let me see. Um, actually, why don't we let somebody else go first, because I want to like listen to the accent again to like get my brain back there. Okay. So, okay. So now, now that uh, we've got that out of the way, <laughs> we'd like to take it first. <laughs> I'll go. Okay. So Dan is playing the part of the seneschal, and who is wanting to take the role of the inquisitor? I'll do it. Okay, John. John the Inquisitor. <laughs> no, we expected like John to be the Inquisitor. <laughs> I just had to throw that. Just a second, I'm getting my stuff set up here. Okay. No worries. Oops, wrong button. There we go. Whoa, dang it. There we go. Now I can, oh, I still can't read it. <laughs> there we go. Now I can read it. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. You ready, John? I'm ready. All right. The estate was utterly stripped of joy when Lady Rosette disappeared. The dowager is distraught. Hasn't taken supper in days. Days! I see. Is it possible she's been assassinated? <gasps> we don't talk like that. It's unthinkable. No, absolutely not. Not dead. Please, we're begging you. The Inquisition has access to resources, information. If anyone could locate Rosette, it's you. Look. I have the lady's favorite things. Maybe these will help. A bell on a ribbon and a silk pillow? Not just any silk pillow. It's filled with honeysuckle and mint. She goes quite mad for the blend. And tell your men they might lure her with salted cod, but only on Sundays. Wait. Lady Rosette is a cat? You sent an urgent missive asking the Inquisition for help in finding a lost cat? She's not just a cat. She is the cat. Why, when Empress Celine was visiting the chateau, Lady, Z Lady Rosette slept curled about the Empire's head. Tell me, who else has dared embrace the Imperial crown in such a brazen fashion? Who else has been allowed to use the Empress's own person? Rosette is special. Even Celine knows it. Okay. Oh, I totally didn't take the direction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're supposed right. to change gears there uh, yeah. after the lost cat comment. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So one of the um, one of the pitfalls that I often notice uh, when it comes to playing uh, these various degrees of bad negative feelings is that uh, they all seem to get lumped into the same delivery sometimes. Uh, a lot of uh, yelling, a lot of... Uh, uh, just, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how else to describe it. Uh, people try to get really high energy about it and uh, and really ex and, and really like overblow it. Um, I think there are different ways that you can look at this. Uh, think about other think like think about times in your life when you have felt these emotions, when you have felt fa frantic, when you felt panic, and you didn't know exactly what to say, or where you're saying things that you know have nothing to do with anything, but you just need to get them out because you're in this emotional, you know, high point. Um, think about times where you were insulted and suddenly felt really indignant. Like those are things you should be drawing on, and when you when you reflect on them, you'll you'll notice that they all have a very 
unique and very distinct way of being expressed. So frantic is not necessarily yelling. It's just speaking too fast and stumbling over yourself. Um, panicked is, is, is very similar, but it can be a lot more, uh, it can be a lot quieter, you know, like it, somebody can, or, or a lot louder, you know, the, the panic is much more extreme. Um, desperation it's almost like you know think think of different words that go along with that there's begging there's there's pleading there's there's seeking there's bargaining you know all of that stuff needs to come out and then you know indignant you you need to be like wait what did you say to me like you, you need to have that feeling behind it that or excuse me or did you really just say that uh and unfortunately i mean if somebody else noticed something different again please feel free to, pe to, to pipe up and let me know. But it felt like it was all the exact same delivery the entire way through. I think that was a pretty good... Um, that actually rookie. was. That, that, that said it right there. Yeah. yeah, that was a good rundown. I didn't actually look at the direction. I just read through the script. So Yeah, you just did yeah. it. Yeah, like I was hearing reading. Yeah. yeah. So uh, feel free to uh, stumble over yourself a little bit, to correct yourself, to go back, to, to stutter, because all of that is really going to help you build that character. Um, if you deliver everything so perfectly and so cleanly, it's not going to sound genuine. Like, yeah, it's all written out clearly, but that's up to you to create the character. Like, for instance, a, a, little, a little example of that. So you start off frantic. So frantic, yes, frantic is kind of quick. Frantic is like, I, I, you know, I don't know what else to do. I'm here. I want to, you know, I, I, I'm here trying to get you to help me with this. So, and, and as you saw right there, I stumbled over myself a little bit. You could even do that just to open it up. You know, the, the, the estate was utterly stripped of joy when Lady Rosette disappeared. You know, that sort of communicates that frantic feeling. So um, there is a lot of room for ad lib here. A little bit, a lot of room for improv. And by ad lib, I mean adding things in between what's being said to, to communicate these feelings. So, so my again. direction would be <laughs> give yourself a second, check, you know, read through the direction, read through how this is being, um, you know, how, how the character's emotions are evolving. And, uh, you know, how they change throughout what, what, what leads to the next leads to the next. And, um, you know, try to come up in your mind of, of times you felt that way and the feelings that, you know, can come up from that. Yeah. Another little note, feel free to throw away some of the punctuation. Yeah. Because if you come across a comma, it'll cause you to pause in a place where if you're actually frantic, you're not going to take that pause. Yeah. <laughs> And John, I need you to take this character very seriously. Okay. Uh, not that you didn't this time, but there was a, a little bit of, you know, it just, it felt a little bit like, you know, a read this time through. Um, this character is, I mean, the Seneschal is obviously appointed by the Empress of the Kingdom, and you are a very high official in this Inquisition. Because um, you were sent to take care of this. So, you know, uh, th this is a very serious matter for you. You know, I see. Is it possible she's been assassinated? You know, something like you're, you're really exploring the possibilities of what happened. And then in the second line, like you really don't know why you're being handed this. And in the third line, it's like, are you, are you kidding me right now? Like, think of the gravity of, what, of what's being said there. You sent an urgent, urgent missive asking the Inquisition for help in finding a lost cat. You know, this is indignant. Uh, this is you being insulted, basically. Okay. I didn't get the um, me being insulted part for the third sentence there, but I understand. But do you see where that would be coming from? No, I do. Why I do. This character, I, when I interpreted it, it was more of a, uh, from a, a point of being um, incredulous. Or maybe that's where I need to go. Right. Well, I had my rant. Anybody else have anything they, need, they want to add? They want to say anything like that? It's been too long, Michael. <laughs> Just take your time. 
Well, whenever you guys are ready, <laughs> I mean, go for it. Take it away, boys. The, 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 the estate was utterly stripped of joy when ladies were... When, when Lady Rosette disappeared, the, the dowager is distraught, hasn't taken supper in days. Days! I see. Is it possible she's been assassinated? <gasps> no, 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 no. We don't talk like that. It, it, it's unthinkable. No, absolutely not. Not dead. Please, we're begging you. The Inquisition has, has access to resources, information. If, if anyone could locate Rosette, it's you can. Look, look. I have the lady's favorite things. Maybe they will help. A bell and a ribbon and a silk pillow? Not just any silk pillow. It's, it's filled with honeysuckle and mint and, and catnip. She, she goes quite mad for the blend. And tell, tell your men they might lure her with salted cod, but only on Sundays. Wait. Lady Rosette is a cat? You sent an urgent miss asking the Inquisition for help in finding a lost cat? She's not just a cat. She is the cat. Why, when Empress Selene was visiting the ch chateau, Lady Rosette slept curled about the Empress's head. Tell me, who else dared to embrace the, embrace the imperial crown in such a brazen fashion? Who else has been allowed to use the Emperor's own person? Rosette is special. Even Celine knows it. All right. What did everybody think of that, Reed? I still feel like he was kind of yelling to get the frantic tone. Um, that didn't really change too much from the first read. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go ahead. Dan, are you in a place where you you can or I don't hear I'm on anything. my phone. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you have if you're on your phone you have one free hand and I don't hear any physicality when you're performing. So this I don't know about you when I feel frantic I kind of do this and and I've seen other people do this with their hands. I go crazy. Yeah. So 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 try moving your body more more gesturing more um um you know how do you feel when you're panicked when you're frantic you know you you're clenching you're tightening up oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh yeah uh, another thing when you think of babbling what do you think of uh <laughs> yeah sort of sort of really almost almost like any yeah, sort of almost like a mumbling, unintelligible, like, you know, almost below the breath sort of thing. Okay. Yeah, when you hit pan panic babbling, that, that little section, um, you, you, were, you, were, you were doing the exact same thing that you were doing before. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it also, when you think rambling, what do you think of? When, when somebody tells you that their friend was just rambling, like, what, what do you think of? Talking really fast and uh, not really loud enough for anybody to hear. Okay. Kind of like uh, walking out, the, like walking out of a store that you've been treated badly and just talking. That's more like mumbling. Well, loud enough to hear, but okay. Yeah, when, when people when people ramble, it's mostly just it's it's verbal vomit. They're just spewing out whatever. You're thinking out loud. Yeah. Don't talk like that. Yeah. It, it, it's it's almost like the Seneschal in that line, the way I read it, it's it's almost like they're saying it to themselves. We don't talk like that. It's unthinkable. No, absolutely not. Not dead. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, that, that's a babbling, but I'm moving down to the to two lines after where it's this frantic rambling. Oh, yes. So that's that's just, so it's just filled with honeysuckle and mint. Yeah, it's just a stream of thought. You just you just sort of going. It's not just any pillow. It's filled with honeysuckle and mint. She goes quite mad for the blend and tell you men. You know, it, it's just you're, you, it's just verbal vomit. You're you're literally just letting whatever's going through your head out because you're just too panicked to think clearly and think this is all information that this person might not actually need. Okay. And then towards the end, the last two lines. I mean, 
you've just been insulted by how insulted the Inquisitor was. It's like, <laughs> you know, when um, uh, it's like when two people are like, wait, what did you say? Well, what did you think I said? You know, it's that sort of back and forth that just happened right there. So suddenly you're taken aback by like, wait, no, no, no. It's not just a cat. That's the cat. It feels weird doing this through the phone, too. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that I can totally understand. That takes the performance to a whole nother level. <laughs> yeah, you are on a whole different playing field right now, let me tell you. <laughs> You've got an audience. <laughs> <laughs> Not that you don't when you're on YouTube, but hey, <laughs> you have an audience. Let me ask you a question about my delivery. Anybody, everybody. Okay. Um, okay. I sort of posed the two sentences as a question, although there's not a question mark there. Did that work or was that sort of not really the intention of the script or was there something on that? For no, help in finding a lost cat, that, yeah. that line. For help in finding a lost cat? Instead of just making a statement. In other words, you know, it wasn't even supposed to be a rhetorical question. It's just a statement. I, I feel um, like he would be a bit more professional about it, as in he wouldn't let his emotions be like outright known, but, you know, still put a bit of subtle disbelief in your voice when you're, you know, answering, answering the question. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't think yeah. that um, that it being delivered as a question is quite the right delivery here. At mm -hmm. least it's just my opinion on it. Okay. Um, if I was in this position, it'd be like, <laughs> think of that one scene in Lord of the Rings. You can't just walk into Morador, you know? <laughs> that's, that's, one that's does what, not simply... Like, yeah, one does not simply, you know, that became the, one, of the, one of the bigger internet memes out there. <laughs> yeah. But that's, that's, that's exactly the feeling, I think, of what's going on right here. Wait, Lady Rosette is a cat. You sent an urgent missive asking the Inquisition in, for help in finding a lost cat. It's yeah, not about just two any seconds. cat, <laughs> <you don't. laughs> About two seconds after I finished that, I realized, wait a minute, that didn't feel right. <laughs> well, good that you recognize that. Yeah, um, and it's good that you tried that you tried it out because working out it, the workout is to try. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Try and play with stuff. It's all right. So try to channel your inner Boromir here, and mm. just you know, one does not simply walk into Morador that line. All right. Yeah, it's all cool until you take a arrow to the knee. <laughs> <laughs> Or in the case of Boromir, like five or six to the chest. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, I think the knee was in another video game. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's yeah, what I'm thinking thought. of. That's exactly what I'm thinking of. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, whenever you guys are ready, why don't you go ahead and try it from the top? All right. The, the, the estate was utterly stripped of joy when Lady Rosette disappeared. The, the dowager is distraught. Hasn't taken supper in days. Days! I see. Is it possible she's been assassinated? No, 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 no. We don't talk like that. It's unthinkable. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Not dead. Please, we're begging you. The Inquisition has access to resources, information. If anyone could locate Rosette, you can. Look, I have the lady's favorite things. Maybe these will help. A bell on a ribbon and a silk pillow? Not just any silk pillow. It's full of honeysuckle and mint. She goes quite mad for the blend. And tell your men they might lure her out with like salt of cod, but only on Sundays. Wait. Lady Rosette is a cat. You sent an urgent missive asking the Inquisition for help in finding a lost cat. She's not just a cat. She is the cat. Why, when Empress Celine was visiting the chateau, Lady Rosette slept curled about the Empress's head. Tell me. Who else has dared the embrace of an imperial crown in such a brazen fashion? Who else has been allowed to use the Empress's own person? Rosette is special. Even Celine knows it. That okay. last line felt like it lost some energy there. Kind of, uh, the, the emotion kind of, it, 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 it was in, indignant, but at the same time, it felt like it just kind of fell off emotionally. 
And um, on the next to the last line, when she's not just a cat, it's just, it kind of emphasized a, she's not just a cat. She's the cat. Okay. That'll help I actually carry. thought about doing that, and I was like, ah, that doesn't really sound indignant to me. Because when you, when you roll back into that next line, you're still indignant. But just pull off of that, that, hey, cat. She's the cat. She's the cat is kind of like, don't you understand this, who this cat is? Have you been sleeping under a rock? Everybody knows she is the cat. Yeah, I, personally, I'd like to hear you more taken aback by that. Like, she's not just a cat. She's the cat. You know, th okay. that, I, I, I don't know about anybody else, but that to me yeah. screams, you know, indignant, screams, you know, did you really just accuse her of being a cat, of being somebody's pet? No, she's the <laughs> Empress's cat. It's this whole underlying subtext of she's she's next in line for the throne. How <laughs> dare you? Yeah, and I don't know if if uh, do, do you do you see what's happening in the line after that? Like, do you do you see what what the seneschal is trying to do? It's it's like he's trying to explain himself. Well, he's over explaining. He's at he's puffing up with way more importance the simple stupid things that cats do. Because, you know, the cat does this with the empress. Like, think, think about the story that's being told right there. She's not just a cat, she's the cat. Why, when Empress Celine was visiting the chateau, Lady, Ros Lady Rosette slipped curled about the empress's head. Tell me, who else has dared embrace the imperial crown in such a brazen fashion, sleeping about the empress's head? Who else has been allowed to so use the empress's own person, you know, her body, heat, that the cat was using to sleep with? You know, Rosette is special. Even Celine knows it. Yeah, you see what's going like on right now? He's way over-inflating the importance of a cat sleeping with a person. Okay. It's this comical over-delivery. It's, it's, it's supposed to be this... this are, are, you, are you kidding me? You're trying to make a cat sleeping on somebody's head sound important. And you are super defensive about it. That sounds important. <laughs> <laughs> like th that's 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 kind of what's happening there. This person is suddenly like, okay, she's not just a cat. Are you kidding me? She used the empress's body heat to sleep with. This is we're we're not talking about anything, you know, just some random animal you find on the street. This is the empress's cat. All right. Basically, you're taking and, something that's stupid, simple, way too importantly. And the rest of it? Mm -hmm. no, the rest of it was, uh, was all right. Um, the f with, f with, the f with your frantic delivery, I'd like to hear a lot less crying in your voice. Like, you sound like you're on the verge of tears, and that's not necessarily frantic. Think about, or that's not necessarily, well, at least what I would like to hear personally. Uh, I, I think a, a more grounded delivery would be, okay, this could cost me my job. This could cost my family's welfare. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. So not like I've just lost my dog. Me. Yeah, not like you've just lost your dog. More like this could cost you your head. Blow you out the airlock. <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh, you know, I have to take this seriously because this is the empress that we're talking about. This is one of her favorite, favorite animals in the entire world. And if I, I, I don't take care of this, my family will be destitute and I will likely be dead. You're an adult in a really crappy situation right now, taking something that's supposed to be not very important way too seriously. All right. <clears throat> One more time to we'll switch roles, right? Yes. Okay, so one more time, you said? Yeah, one yep. more time, and you guys switch. Okay. The estate was suddenly, utterly stripped of joy when Lady Rosette disappeared. The d dowager is distraught. Hasn't taken supper in days. Days! I see. 
Is it possible she's been assassinated? No, 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 we don't talk like that. It's unthinkable. No, absolutely not. Not dead. Please, we're begging you. The Inquisition has access to resources, information. If anyone like anyone could locate Rosette, it's you. Look, I, I, I have this lady's favorite things. Maybe these will help. A bell on a ribbon in a silk pillow? Not just any silk pillow. It's filled with honeysuckle and mint. She goes quite mad for the blend. And tell your men they might lure her with salted cod, but only on Sundays. Wait. Lady Rosette is a cat. You sent an urgent missive asking the Inquisition for help in finding a lost cat. She's not just a cat. She is the cat. Why, when Empress Celine was visiting the chateau, Lady Rosette slept curled about the Empress's head. Tell me, who else has who is who else has dared embrace the imperial crown in such a brazen fashion? Who else has been allowed to use so use the Empress's own person? Rosette is special. Even Celine knows it. Mm. All right. What did everybody think of that one? I, I think like that it. was the best read yet. It was. I think he made a lot of progress yeah. on it. There's yeah. a little bit of up speak at the very end. It sounded like up speak to me. Even Celine knows it. Even Celine knows it. Yeah. Even Celine knows it. It knows it. The emotion was captured well. Yeah, you did. It was yeah. really hard on that, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> we dragged you through the mud. And I haven't been there in a while, so I needed it. Yeah, you had to work really hard on that. Yeah. And now, John gets to be frantic, panicked, babbling, frantic, desperate, frantic, frantic rambling. <laughs> Suddenly indignant and indignant, defensive, set of shawl. <laughs> yes. The but no, dogs. something completely different. John Sounds like a tall is the shawl. All right. The estate was utterly stripped of joy when Lady Rosette disappeared. The dowager is distraught. Hasn't taken supper in days. Days! I see. Is it possible she's been assassinated? <gasps> we don't talk like that. It's unthinkable. No, absolutely not. Not dead. Please, we're begging you. The Inquisition has access to resources, information. If anyone could locate Rosette, you can. Look, I have the lady's favorite things. Maybe these will help. A bell on a ribbon and a silk pillow? Not just any silk pillow. It's filled with honeysuckle and mint. She goes quite mad for the blend. And tell your men they might lure her with salted cod, but only on Sundays. Wait, Lady Rosette is a cat? Not just she a sent cat. an urgent missive asking the Inquisition for help in finding a lost cat. She's not just a cat. She's the cat. Why, when the Empress Celine was visiting the chateau, Lady Rosette slept curled around the Empress's head. Tell me, who else has dared embrace the imperial crown in such a brazen fashion? Who else has, allowed, has been allowed to so use the Empress's own person? Rosette is special. Even Celine knows it. All right. What did everybody think? I didn't like that sigh, Michael. <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, <laughs> oh, my. Wow. oh man, I'm stepping, the... I'm stepping on the wrong <laughs> Pulling out the guillotine. <laughs> I am amazed, yeah. John, that you were able to get your voice that high. Oh. Yeah. Um, I was actually thinking the same thing. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it was like, yes, it was utterly straight. I'm like, wow. Oh. <laughs> I'm no Elton John, but I have a little bit of range. <laughs> what can we? Do? What about the delivery? <laughs> you don't want to say, huh? All right, let's well, head from well, the top. Here, it was, uh, let me. me to, 
I was just going to say, John, it's to me, you were more silly than frantic. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think going up, I don't think going up in register is the right move here. Mm -hmm. Um, because this isn't a person who's, this doesn't seem like it's a person who's, uh, you know, actually fretting over something they think is small, which, you know, when you go up in, in, in tone, it sounds more pedantic. It sounds more demeaning of the issue. You know, that, that's how you'd make fun of somebody, you know, complaining about something. Here, this is somebody, this is a professional thinking they're doing something professional. Mm. Hmm. I guess my take on it was when people get frantic, they tend to speak in a higher register. But I can yeah. take it down a notch, no problem. It, it also depends on the, the character's proclivities uh, yeah. I, i'm i mean I, I i came in at the middle of the last uh set of reads so i didn't want to comment on that but i'm picturing the, the character i'm picturing is kind of um royal three levels down serving other people very persnickety very particular uh detail oriented and he's lost something that's incredibly important and he knows it's his fault. And the person he's talking to almost doesn't matter as much as the cat does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's, again, that's more of a, I think the voice can go high, low, wherever it's, it's just a matter of where, what the character that fits it would do. Matter so, of circumstance. So yeah. a little more control, a little less frantic. Yeah. The more, yeah, if you could uh, yeah, m maybe have more levels. At, at times when, uh, like, it, it's not just a cat. If I was going to picture a physicality for that, I'd picture him slapping the guy with his gloves. It's not just a cat. <laughs> or, you know, like throwing the arms down and stomping in place. It's not just yeah. a cat. Yeah, yeah. He's standing up to understand. a guy who could probably just kill him, you know? <laughs> I keep thinking of John Cleese in Faulty Towers. <laughs> yeah, you know, they didn't make enough of those episodes. Just, just, just as the moment starts to escalate, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah. Just waiting for Polly to walk in and try to calm him down. <laughs> All right. So, why don't you guys try it again from the top? The estate was totally stripped of joy when Lady Rosette disappeared. The dowager is distraught. Hasn't taken supper for days. Days. I see. Is it possible she's been assassinated? <laughs> we don't talk like that. It's unthinkable. No, absolutely not. Not dead. Please, we're begging you. The Inquisition has access to resources, information, if anyone can locate Rosette, you can. Look, I have the lady's favorite things. Maybe these will help. A bell on a ribbon and a silk pillow? Not just any silk pillow. It's filled with honeysuckle and mint. She goes quite mad for the blend. And tell your men that they might lure her with salted cod, but only on Sundays. Wait, Lady Rosette is a cat. You sent an urgent missive asking the Inquisition for help in finding a lost cat. She's not just a cat. She's the cat. Why, when Empress Celine was visiting the chateau, Lady Rosette slept curled around the Empress's head. Tell me, who else has dared embrace the Imperial crown in such a brazen fashion? Who else has been allowed to so use the Empress's own person? Rosette is special. Even Celine knows it. All right, opening it up. What did everybody think? I like how you buttoned that up at the end. Even Celine knows it. Even you dropped Celine. off with that, that nice little condescending knows it. Indignant. So it, it's... It, 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 it took it off in the right direction or capped it off in the right direction. Yeah. I thought, I thought the read, you, you took the, the notes and incorporated them. Well, thank you. 
if I may be a little nitpicky again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bring out the, <laughs> the, the The funny thing is, um, when you hit the frantic rambling part, you slow down a lot. So it's kind of like you're doing the opposite of rambling. You remember uh, it, what, what the pillow is filled with and how you know the, the, she could be lured with salted cod, but only on Sundays. That's completely unimportant. You're, you're just rambling. It's just you know stuff coming out of your mouth because you're too stressed. Yeah, that part felt wrong. I really lost my rhythm there. Yeah, you, you, not wrong. It was, it's 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 a little too choppy. You're, you're splitting yeah. up these sentences way too much. You can even yeah. just remove the periods if you wanted to do it that way. Just make them all commas or something if you're going to have a pause, just a very brief one. Because mm. you, you're literally telling this dude a bunch of information that is entirely unnecessary. Frantically. Yeah, exactly, frantically. Okay. I have a call coming in. I'll be right back. Okay. Bye, Dan. I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> right to anybody else? Sherry, I'm just trying to think of something that could help. Um, it's. I think it's more a matter of you relaxing when um up toward the beginning when you say we don't talk like that. It's unthinkable. No, absolutely not. Not yet. And then, please, we're begging you. The Inquis- it came across like this. The Inquisition has access to resources, information. If anyone could locate Rosette, you can. And it, was, um, it wasn't flowing. Okay. Can I ask a seemingly tangential question? <laughs> of course. Um, who do you think you are when you are the Seneschal? What do you think of yourself? I think I'm a little batty. Little batty. Okay. <laughs> but people don't usually think they are batty. No. No. I don't know it. No. So, so you think you're sane, and this is proper priority. I believe myself to be yes in control, yet I am not. Okay, so you believe you're in control, and the cat is really important to you. Yes. I lose the cat to you. Well, the cat, I am imagining that it is maybe the royal cat, and Mm -hmm. I will be accountable Mm -hmm. if this cat is indeed missing. How does that make you feel? A little little panicky, a little frantic, and it makes me want to babble. Okay, sounds good. But uh, right, for the top. Back. go Dan, for it again. Are you back, Dan? Yes, I am back. All right. Okay. Oh, anything on mine? Oh yeah. Um. I really like how you do a bell on a ribbon and a silk pillow. I like how you do that line. Um. Well, so- the following line also actually pulls up the silk pillow, so it, that's going to be the accent of the mm-hmm. comment. So. Mm-hmm. Um, with is it possible she's been assassinated? I think you could care a little more. I mean, as a professional, I think part of the change that happens in the script and why you're so exasperated when you find out that Lady Rosette's a cat is because you're the inquisitor you're used to working on heavy serious cases so so i i believe you would see this before you discover she's a cat i believe you would see this as serious Uh, you received a missive from empress Celine's household so i guess that's a big deal and um and and um when you say is it is it possible that she's been assassinated? Um, maybe having um, more interest in that phrase instead of, is it possible she's been assassinated? Like, is it possible she's just at Walmart? I mean, you're delivering it the same way. Yeah. Yeah. Think and, about, and um, if, think if about you think this. somebody's dead, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, do you think they're dead? Yeah. Imagine, um, Imagine a business person making a deal and just going through the options, you know, uh, allow yourself to, to 
allow the character to like absorb the information. <clears throat> I mean, it, there are some things that are really impossible to, to put into text. And just in my imagination here, at least uh, for that first line, um, uh, you know, you first hear about what's going on and um, you know, that you, you assent to it. I, I see. And then allow yourself a little bit of time to sort of, you know, go through the options in your head and, and start and imagine you're, you're like a, like I said, a business person going down through all of the selections. Okay. Um, well, they haven't seen her. So it's, it's likely that she's not, uh, she's not in or around the castle. Um, they don't know exactly what happened and it was a sudden disappearance. So what could that mean? Okay. Is it possible she's been assassinated? Do, do you see what I mean? Do you see where I'm going with on that? Like you're basically just going through a checklist in your head with this character. Cause this character obviously takes themselves seriously with, and you can tell from the delivery of the third line. Okay. Is it possible she's been assassinated? All right. All, All right. From, from the top, whenever you guys are ready. The estate was utterly stripped of joy when L Lady Rosette disappeared. The dowager is distraught. Hasn't taken supper for days. Days. I see. Is it possible she's been assassinated? <sighs> we don't talk like that. It's unthinkable. No, absolutely not. Not dead. Please, we're begging you. The Inquisition has access to resources, information. If anyone could locate Rosette, you can. Look, I have the lady's favorite things. Maybe these would help. A bell on a ribbon and a silk pillow? Not just any silk pillow. It's filled with honeysuckle and mint. She goes quite mad for the blend. I th tell your men they might lure her with salted cod, but only on Sundays. Wait. Lady Rosette is a cat. You sent an urgent missive asking the Inquisition for help in finding a lost cat. She's not just a cat. She is the cat. Why, when Empress Celine was visiting the chateau, Lady Rosette sup curled around the Empress's head. Tell me, who else has dared embrace the Imperial crown in such a brazen fashion? Who else has been allowed to use the Empress's own person? Rosette is special. Even Celine knows it. Hmm. Hmm. Something between the uh, panicked babbling and please, we're begging you. Those both have been still staying on the same note. I don't know if anybody else was catching mm. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But okay. something's it's something it's like something needs to transition in there and and it's kind of the uh we we, we don't talk like that. It's unthinkable. No, no absolutely not not dead. Uh, uh, please. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. There's gotta be some kind of break in there because it, it, it kind of stayed right on the same note from the panic bag babbling all the way through, please we're begging you. Mm -hmm. Okay. But again, you buttoned it up good. So the last six words sound really good. <laughs> your, your indignance, was, your indignance was fine. Your panic babbling needed a, it needed a break between panic babbling and then back and to frantic. Panic. Yeah. It makes me feel like you're not. You like you don't really care about this cat. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I tend to think of the. Sorry. Like when it. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> I, I tend to think of the frantic babbling. Like, he, you suddenly imagine the cat being dead, and that's gonna like kill your job. And you're just like, we don't talk like that. It's unthinkable. No, no, absolutely not. Not dead. 
And then you're like, wait, wait, I, I need to come back to myself. I need to, to get him to help us because he's the person who can help us. And then, you know, you pull yourself together again and you're like, please, we're begging you, you know, back to what you were doing before when you were telling him about the terrible situation that's occurred and that Lady Rosette's disappeared. You yeah. want this cat found. Yeah. I see. Hmm. Yeah, there's a, there's a definite note change. There's a, there's a complete tempo change in the way that, that the way those two things work. Hmm. Right. If if nobody minds, I'd like to volunteer to go next after this. Oh, right. can I go next? Uh, <laughs> with you? <laughs> I mean, Whatever. if anyone doesn't mind, oh. you don't mind. You guys kicking me off? No, no, no. no I just no, no. Just, no, no. Um, just volunteering early. We are going to let you take one more read, and then there. we will give yeah. it to Ian and Michael. Okay. But, uh, All right, I'm ready, Dan. I'm ready. You ready? Go for it. Go. The estate was utterly stripped of joy when Lady Rosette disappeared. The dowager is distraught. Hasn't taken supper for days. Days! I see. Is it possible she's been assassinated? <gasps> we don't talk like that. It's unthinkable. No, absolutely not. Not dead. Please, we're begging you. The Inquisition has access to resources, information. If anyone can help locate Rosette, you can. Look, I have the lady's favorite things. Maybe these would help. A bell on a ribbon and a silk pillow? Not just any silk pillow. It's filled with honeysuckle and mint. She goes quite mad for the blend. And, and tell your men they might lure her with salted cod, but only on Sundays. Wait. Lady Rosette is a cat. You sent an urgent missive asking the Inquisition for help in finding a lost cat. She's not just a cat. She's the cat. Why, when the Empress Celine was visiting the chateau... Lady Rosette slept curled around the Empress's head. Tell me, who else has dared embraced the Imperial crown in such a brazen fashion? Who else has been allowed to so use the Empress's own person? Rosette is special. Even Celine knows it. All right. Any last, any uh, final thoughts on that, Reed? I think I caught the transition this time. He, he, he changed <laughs> up his note. Right I there between those off. two lines. Ah, yeah. you took the head. Uh, ah, yeah. There you go. There I you really go. liked your intro too, because that that felt like you had more more in it. I, I I think it was great in the beginning, much better. When you're running through multiple emotional ranges, there is always always a musicality to it. Yeah, I read your post. That was pretty good. <laughs> there is that word musicality. Yes, musicality. musicality. Yes, I po I posted Ooh. that in our in our mic check group the other day because I thought it would be great to give to everyone. It was just because it, it, it is there's there's musicality to everything you read, even if you're doing IVR. Uh, it might not show up as much doing IVR, but it's there. But you know that's how this stuff works, and especially when you're becoming a character, you know, because that helps to give that life and and and, and breathe. A, a complete new thing into existence. And moving on, we have Michael <laughs> and Ian. I chose or, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ian, uh, which role would you like to play first? I want Seneschal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can play the Seneschal. I will go ahead and play the Inquisitor. I am the Seneschal. <clears throat> All right, ready when you are. From the top, whenever you're good to go. The estate was utterly stripped of joy when Lady Rosette disappeared. The dowager is distraught, hasn't taken supper in days. Days! I see. Is it possible she's been assassinated? We don't talk like that. It's, it's unthinkable. No, absolutely not. Not dead. Please, we're begging you. The Inquisition has access to resources, information. If anyone could locate Rosette, you can. Look, I have the lady's favorite things. Maybe these will help. A bell on a ribbon and a silk pillow. 
not just a silk pillow. It's filled with honeysuckle and mint. She goes quite mad for the blend. And tell your men they might lure her with salted cod, but only on Sundays. Uh, wait. Wait. Lady Rosette is a cat. You sent an urgent missive asking the Inquisition for help in finding a lost cat. She's not just a cat. She is the cat. Why, when Lady Empress Celine was visiting the chateau, Lady Rosette slept curled around about the Empress's head. Tell me, who else dared to embrace the imperial crown in such a brazen fashion? Who else has been allowed to use the Emperor's own person? Rosette is special. Even Celine knows it. I need to straighten <laughs> out a bit. Let me, uh, Hold on, I can't see these scripts because I got a line under me. Let me. Uh, Sorry, I should have put out a um, a notice earlier. I am getting over. Like, I'm at the tail end of a cold, so. Okay. Oh, dude, totally cool. But anyway, what did you all think of that read? I liked it a lot. It was yeah. very good. It I was think enjoyable. That, uh, yeah. The the last line with the indignant got a little over the top, I think. But a little than, sly, yeah. Yeah. But, but otherwise it was I really liked it. I liked the interpretations. Yeah. Uh, I thought the uh Inquisitor could be a little less uh CSI. A little a little more, you know, a little more in your face kind of brutish kind of guy. I mean he does torture people for a living, so he does. Um, uh, I hope I hope he does. <laughs> Why not? And then, nobody uh, expects the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> nobody expects the Spanish. Uh, and then for for Seneschal, um, you you halfway did something that was really cool on the look. I have the ladies' favorite things. I I want you to actually remember that you have them, like they're stuck in your backpack or something, and you're like, oh wait, look, I I have their favorite things. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, like they're just coming like you need to find her wait i have her favorite things <laughs> you know like like this is the clue you need to find her yeah Import a person that i'm begging <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah okay okay make sure that i found her all right awesome Thou ready? Okay, guys. Whatever you are, go for it. All right. The estate was utterly stripped of joy when Lady Rosette disappeared. The dowager is distraught, hasn't taken supper in days. Days! I see. Is it possible she's been assassinated? We don't talk about that. It's unthinkable. No, absolutely not. Not dead. Please, we're begging you. The Inquisition has access to resources, information. If anyone could locate Rosette, you can. Uh, look, I have the lady's favorite things. Maybe these will help. A bell on a ribbon and a silk pillow? Not just any silk pillow. It's filled with honeysuckle and mint. She goes mad for the blend. And even tell your men they might lure her with salted cod, but only on Sundays. Wait. Lady Rosette is a cat. You sent an urgent missive asking the Inquisition for help in finding a lost cat. She's not just a cat, she is THE cat. Why, when Empress Celine was visiting the chateau, Lady Rosette slept curled about the Empress's head. Tell me, who else has dared to embrace the Imperial crowd in such a brazen fashion? Who else has been allowed to use the Empress's own person? Rosette is special. Even Celine knows it. Okay, what did you all think? I uh, yeah, I like the I like the I think you you both uh took the direction. I I I heard a um a lot of discovery on uh Ian's bar, part uh in in other places too where uh you were finding things in the lines that that were not there before. All right. Anybody else have anything they'd like to add about uh, about the Seneschal performance or the Inquisitor, either one? That was a good performance. I suggest you switch. <laughs> All right. Hmm. <laughs> roar, 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 right. Yep. Let's do this. Wait. 
The estate was utterly stripped of joy when Lady Rosette disappeared. Uh, the, the dowager is distraught, hasn't taken supper in days. Days! I see. Is it possible she's been assassinated? We wouldn't talk like that. It's unthinkable. No, absolutely not. Not dead. Uh, please, we're begging you. The Inquisition has access to resources, information. If anyone could locate Rosette, you can. Look, uh, I have the lady's favorite things. Maybe these will help? A bell on a ribbon and a silk pillow. Not, not just any silk pillow. It's filled with honeysuckle and mint. She goes quite mad for the blend. And tell your men they might lure her with salted cod, but only on Sundays. Wait, Lady Rosette is a cat? You sent an urge of massive asking the Inquisition for help in finding a lost cat. She's not just a cat. She's the cat. Why, when Empress Celine was visiting the chateau, Lady Rosette slept curled about the Empress's head. Tell me, who else has dared embrace the Imperial crown in such a brazen fashion? Who else has been allowed to so use the Empress's own person? Rosette is special. Even Celine knows it. Oh, I like that overemphasis on brazen. Brazen. <laughs> yeah. In such a brazen fashion. That was good. Mm. Praise. I think the acting is great, but I would like Michael to slow down just a little bit. Okay. Just a little teeny bit, because when you started off, I couldn't even understand what you were saying. Okay. But the, the, I thought it was a different tone than the, the performances we've heard so far. I think you've, mm -hmm. got a, you've got a different tone to the character. It all fits together with your voice, so it works well. All right, but uh, besides slowing down, was was there any any particular anything else I could change about it? Or the only thing that caught my ear was um, the frantic rambling felt a little more choppy than rambly. Okay. Oh, there was one word that caught my ear for the Inquisitor: An urgent, what? massive. Urg yeah, I see. Urgent mi Oh! Urgent missive! Oh! <laughs> Whoopsies! Yeah, I saw my Aza's eyes. An urgent massive what? Emergent massive letter or stone what? Missive. They, they lobbed the a boulder in your direction. <laughs> when I saw massive, I thought it was like, oh, you mean lots of soldiers. Okay. No, an urgent missive. missive. And uh, you know what? This time I'm going to try it with an accent. Yeah, Why not? Right. He sent yes. a cow flying Yay. over the wall. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The estate was utterly stripped of joy when Lady Rosette disappeared. The dowager is distraught. It hasn't taken supper in days. Days. I see. Is it possible she's been assassinated? <gasps> we don't talk like that. It's unthinkable. No, absolutely not. Not dead. Please. We're begging you. The Inquisition has access to resources, information. If anyone could locate Rosette, you can. Look, I have the lady's favorite things. Maybe these will help? A bell on a ribbon and a silk pillow. Not, not just any silk pillow. It's filled with honeysuckle and mint. She goes quite... F Pick up. Not just any silk pillow. It's filled with honeysuckle and mint. She goes quite mad for the blend. And tell your men they might lure her with salted cod, but only on Sundays? Wait, Lady Rosette is a cat. You sent an urgent missive asking the Inquisition for help in finding a lost cat. She's not just a cat. She's the cat. Why, when Empress Celine was visiting the chateau, Lady Rosette slipped curled about the Empress's head. Tell me, who else has dared embrace the Imperial crown in such a brazen fashion? Who else has been allowed to so use the Empress's own person? Rosette is special. Even Celine knows it. Oh, this cat must be special. <sighs> Nicely done and well buttoned up. Mm, well buttoned up. <laughs> Michael looks just a tad winded. <laughs> that sweat coming out of his mouth. He sucks. Coming yeah. out of my butt? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, what? Through the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's dogs who panned. <laughs> uh, 
No, I, I, I know it's that recovering from a cold thing, but uh, it gave the Seneschal a, 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 an edge of, I'm allergic to cats, but I have to do this anyway. <laughs> <laughs> like it. So was I actually, you know, intelligible this time around? Were you actually able to, to get what I was saying? Was it moving too fast still? No, actually, you no. were very good on that, uh, as far as I could hear. Uh, anyway, sorry okay. about that. Okay. No, I heard that you slowed down, and then it was easier to understand you. Okay, good. Mm-hmm. I always try to take direction as seriously as possible, so... <laughs> yeah, I, I think you, say? You, you slowed down, and you, and you managed to keep the, keep the tone and the, the color in the, in the phrases. Good so. job. Good job. And there was no massive, it was just a missive. It's a yeah. <laughs> it was a massive missive. We sent a massive. <laughs> we sent catapults finding her. <laughs> uh, Somewhere along the way, the cat was attached job. to the uh, cow that went over the wall. <laughs> now that's what I call a cat. It's an urgent massive. <laughs> so, no, very good. And rolling along <laughs> yes who else would like to go next i would like to go me 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 oh wait we got three volunteers who is it? <laughs> i'll be the cat <laughs> yeah you'll just be walking around the windowsill right behind the seneschal the entire time <laughs> yes of course i'm <laughs> 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 playing okay. with the, the the bottom of his cloak or something <laughs> yeah you know, batting at the cloak or whatever <laughs> Or like you're literally laying on the silk pillow and the Seneschal just like pulls it out from right under you. <laughs> okay, so I guess Philip is uh, taking this as well. I'll be the Inquisitor. Okay, so who's our Seneschal? That Go ahead, Goldie. Carry. Okay. Oh, okay, Goldie's going. All right. The estate was utterly stripped of joy when Lady Rosette disappeared. The Dowager is distraught. Hasn't taken supper in days. Days! I see. Is it possible she's been assassinated? <gasps> oh, oh, we don't talk like that. It, it's unthinkable. No, no, absolutely not. Not dead. Please, we're, we're begging you. The Inquisition has access to resources information if anyone could help locate rosette you can look i have the lady's favorite things maybe these will help maybe these will help uh oh uh did you lose me we lost yes. you it sounds like it crud <laughs> A bell, a bell on a ribbon and a lost in the dimension. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> okay. The Inquisitor line, go ahead, take it. A bell on a ribbon and a silk pillow. N- not just just any silk pillow. It's filled with honeysuckle and mint. She goes quite mad for the blend. I'm telling men that they might love her with salted cod, but, but only on Sundays. Wait, Lady Rosette is a cat. You sent an urgent missive asking the Inquisition for help in finding a lost cat. She's not just a cat. She's THE cat. Why, when Empress Celine was visiting the chateau, Lady Rosette slept curled about the Empress's head. Tell me, who else has dared embrace the Imperial crown in such a brazen fashion? Who else has been allowed to so use the Empress's own person rosette is special even celine knows it yeah 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 so what do you want us to do <laughs> <laughs> all right what did everybody think of that read i think i should drop the accent because i'm not able to hold it throughout okay mm-hmm. yeah or yeah. or did i mean whatever's stronger for you well, on a technical yeah. note you might need to pull your uh, gain down just a little bit there, Goldie. It seemed to just just a tad on the hot side when you were reading. Yeah, but that's that seems to be a a, a common again. Like I said, 
the very beginning. It seems to me that the, the, the common interpretation of these sorts of frantic, panicked, desperate feelings is, yeah. is for people to go up in volume, and that's, that's not always the case. Um, uh, yeah, definitely, Seneschal, uh, Goldie, coming in way too hot on that one. I think you were a little too loud for that. I feel like the Seneschal's talking like right in front of the Inquisitor, so you don't have to yell yeah. okay. that yeah. loud in front of him. Yeah, you had a little Seinfeld yeah. scene going on there with the Seneschal uh, close talking the whole time. Because okay. like I'm imagining. It's like, the All Seneschal's right. like a that. close talker. You got to stop this close talking. <laughs> yeah, uh, and also uh, with that, like little little things you can do here or there. Um, like in that that first line, the last two bits hasn't taken supper in days. Days. Um, uh, this happened with the last several reads that I noticed as well. Um, everybody started going up in tone uh, on the first days, but you know, I, I, I again, I don't think that's necessarily the, the the right way to do it because then you're shouting the second yeah. days. I think it's yeah. just more of an emphatic. You know, it's been days since mm -hmm. they've taken supper. Yeah. You know, uh, I'm worried about their health. So, you know, they haven't taken supper in days. That's just okay. a statement. It's just news. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Think of it as, as, you know, trying to explain the news, basically, and then throwing in your own commentary. Just... Sounds good. <laughs> anyway. Um, okay. Anybody else have anything they want to say? Now I say take it from the top. All right. What are you waiting for today? The estate was utterly stripped of joy when Lady Rosette disappeared. The dowager's distraught. Hasn't taken supper in days. Days. I see. Is it possible she's been assassinated? <gasps> we don't talk like that. It, it's unthinkable. No, no, absolutely not. Not, not dead. Sorry. Can I redo that one? Of course. Just pick up. Yeah. Pick up. We don't talk like that. It's unthinkable. No, no, absolutely not. Not dead. Please, we're begging you. The Inquisition has access to resources, information. If anyone could locate Rosette, you can. Look, I have the lady's favorite things. Maybe these will help. A bell on a ribbon and a silk pillow? No, not just any silk pillow. It's filled with honeysuckle and mint. She goes quite mad for it, the blend. And tell your men that they might lure her with salted cod. But only on Sundays. Wait. Lady Rosette is a cat. You sent an urgent missive asking the Inquisition for help in finding a lost cat. She's not just a cat. She's THE cat. Why? When Empress Celine was visiting the chateau, Lady Rosette slept curled about the Empress's head. Tell me, who else has dared embrace the Imperial crown in such a brazen fashion? Who else has been allowed to so use the Empress's own person? Rosette is special. Even Celine knows it. Now, was it just me? Or did anybody else get the whole uh, supervillain sort of feeling at the very end there with the delivery? Rosette is special. You sort of you sort of went into this uh, this almost like conniving, like slow and and then brooding tone, rather than indignant and defensive. Okay. okay. You're trying to be, you know, you're trying to establish yourself and your in your, you know. St your claim to importance on this missive. You called the Inquisition because they have the access to the resources yeah. information you do not to find this cat, and you are stating your case. He at the end, it was like, at the end, it was like, well, I'll show that cat a few things when she gets back. <laughs> that's kind of the idea. That, uh, at least uh, that's what I felt when you got towards okay, the end. I don't, I I don't know if anybody else. I'm not getting paid <laughs> enough for this. Yeah, a little little spoiled <laughs> bill slipped in there. <laughs> I like yeah, the, think about uh, it. Think about it. You're, you're like stamping your feet. You're pointing at them. Like your fingers in the air. You're trying to be like, this is this is important. Damn it! Listen to me. Yeah. You know, she's not just a cat. She's the cat. Why, when the when Empress Celine was visiting the chateau, Lady Rosette slipped curled about the Empress's head. You you are establishing your case. You're not trying to convince them that 
no, I'm not going to do anything to that cat when it comes back. <laughs> yeah, you're being like, this is important. I, Listen I to me. I think I found the, the cat under the table where you left him. <laughs> uh, She's a bit stiff. <laughs> so, so, small, small nod, I, I really like the Inquisitor's A bell. I like the A because it just, it, it, it's, it's amazing how one word can just pop out. And he's like, a bell, a, <laughs> it was it's like such trite things. And he's like, I'm supposed to find a person with this. <laughs> Pretty much. And, but the, the other thing is, is uh, uh, and again, if anybody has disagrees with me, please. Uh, at the very beginning, you said it bored. The Inquisitor yeah. you said it's totally uh, bored. Yeah, like this is this is an important mission. Like this, it was an urgent missive. It's like, hey, you know, get here now. That's a nine one one call. Oops. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you you were just totally bored about the whole thing. I see. And it's a like you're writing a parking ticket instead of investigating a possible assassination. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 exactly. Felt like meter maid. I see. It's possible <laughs> she's been assassinated. <laughs> Bell on a ribbon and a silk pillow. Hey, wait, lady was that's a cat. You sent an urgent missive asking the Inquisition for help in finding the lost cat. Look at that. It, it, how, do you know it, how it, I brought out my, my inner walk-in there for, for just a moment. <laughs> I was just trying to go for the right sort of you know feel that was going for it. No. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is – you're a consummate professional, all right? This is what you do all day. Mm-hmm. You take care of problems. You're a hero, and you are being summoned to find the cat. I'm sure this is how firefighters feel when an old lady calls them to get their cat out of their tree. <laughs> uh, we're here to serve. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. Yeah, so um, the two notes, just review. Seneschal, last two lines. I'd love to hear that be, you know, a, a lot more of you stating your case, of you standing your ground. Mm-hmm. And um, Inquisitor, I'd like to hear a little bit more professionalism before it breaks down to the ridiculous. Okay. Great. Great. From the top. The estate was utterly stripped of joy when Lady Rosette disappeared. The Dowager's distraught. Hasn't taken supper in days. Days. I see. Is it possible she's been assassinated? We don't talk like that. It's, it's unthinkable. No, no, absolutely not. Not dead. Uh, please, we're begging you. The Inquisition has access to resources, information. If anyone could locate Rosette, you can. Look, I have these, the lady's favorite things. Maybe these will help. Uh, a bell on a ribbon and a silk pillow? Not just any silk pillow. It, it's filled with honeysuckle and mint. She goes quite mad for the blend. A- and tell your men, they might lure her with salted cod. B- but, but only on Sundays. Oh, wait. Lady Rosette is a cat. You sent an urgent missive asking the Inquisition for help in finding a lost cat. She's not just a cat. She's the cat. Why, when Empress Celine was visiting the chateau, Lady Rosette slept curled about the Empress's head. Tell me, who else has dared embrace the imperial crown in such a brazen fashion? Who else has been allowed to so use the Empress's own person? Rosette is special. Even Celine knows it. Whoa, that was very All indignant. Right. Yeah, right. that's yeah. much better, much better. Yeah. Ah, uh, this woman's crazy. Yeah, the, uh, <laughs> the, the villain went away and the indignant <laughs> Seneschal came in. Exactly, exactly. I'm so sorry to have made her go so far away. <laughs> it was, there was no Cruella de Vil in there going, who else? Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, one last note with a Seneschal. Again, like, like the note that I put up every single time. If you disagree with me, please let me know. It, it sounded like you were really trying to force the words out at the beginning a little too much. Okay. Like you're panicked and frantic. It was just, please, we're, we're begging you. The Inquisition is like, you're, 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 you're squeezing your stomach and your diaphragm way okay. too much there. Okay, so pull myself back more towards the estate. Attitude. Well, I mean, panic babbling, that should be easy because you're just talking. Yeah. 
Yeah, that was. We don't talk like that. It's unthinkable. No, absolutely not. Not dead. It's you know, you're just going through ideas. Mm-hmm. Please. Yeah, and and and, and frantic. It, it's 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 a tone. It's not you know. It's not a, a voice quality. It's it's just it's your you know the emotion. Please, we're begging you. You know, like this is this is our last option. Please, the Inquisition has access to resources, information, things we don't have. That's why I contacted you. You're literally saying this is why we contacted you. Resources, information. If anyone could locate Rosette, you can. Okay. You're on your knees there. You got the hands up. You're begging. Please. Okay. Yeah. Please. This guy's got 150 people out there waiting for him to give them a command and an order. And uh, <laughs> so. And it's about a cat. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I just, just do, release the tension on your diaphragm and jest. You don't need to, to squeeze it so much and force the words out. Just let them come out with emotion. Okay. If you need to, even like one of the weird techniques that, I, that I've seen uh, for some uh, animation and video game, um, some animation and video game direction is actually to, to, if you can, stretch your arms out wide to the side, open up your chest. Okay. All right. I'll try that. Oh. All right. <coughs> From the yep. top, whenever you're ready. <clears throat> What's your problem, lady? The estate was utterly stripped of joy when Lady Rosette disappeared. The dowager's distraught. Hasn't taken supper in days. In days. I see. Is it possible she's been assassinated? We don't talk like that. It's unthinkable. No, no, absolutely not. Not dead. Please. We're begging you. The Inquisition has access to resources, information. If anyone could locate Rosette, you can. Okay. Look, I I have the lady's favorite things. Maybe these will help. Um, a bell on a ribbon and a silk pillow? Not just any silk pillow. It's filled with honeysuckle and mint. She goes quite mad for the blend. And tell your men that they might lure her with salted cod. But only on Sundays. Uh, Wait. Lady Rosette is a cat. You sent an urgent missive asking the Inquisition for help in finding a lost cat. She's not just a cat. She's the cat. Why, when Empress Selene was visiting the chateau, Lady Rosette slept curled about the Empress's head. Tell me, who else has dared embrace the Imperial crown in such a brazen fashion? Who else has been allowed to so use the Empress's own person? Rosette is special. Even Selene knows it. I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> that was a nice touch with the... <laughs> the big thump on the desk. I loved watching you perform, Goldie. That was fun. Thanks. Rosetta yeah. is special. <laughs> Don't you that understand? Was, Don't that that was awesome. That, that was, was awesome. Right. That was good. I made me still, jump. It was, still, <laughs> it, it was still a little bit of forcing, but not as much. It sounded a lot smoother. Yeah. It sounded a lot easier. How, how did that feel for you, Golden? Uh, it did feel better. And I had didn't have to work as hard to not be shouting, which I, when you tighten up, it goes that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Your opening is, is fantastic, I feel. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I love the way that you start off your Seneschal character, but for some reason, when you, when you went into the panic babbling in your previous takes, yeah, you instantly tightened up and you lost all of that. Uh-huh. You started getting really loud and, and really, really, you started, you started pushing your words out uncomfortably. It didn't sound quite right. This last one, so much more calm, well, relatively speaking, <laughs> uh, but so much more real, I should say, so much yeah. more real in that, that, that bring out of emotion. Um, did anybody have anything that they noticed? Anything they'd like to point out? I, I liked it. I, I thought it was overall, both, both performances were much more smoother and dovetailed together better. Sometimes. Oh, well, thank you. I mean, well, it's, it's, uh, I mean, on the, the actual sessions, it's hard cause it's just you in the booth, but if you have the luxury of having somebody reading with you, it does make, a difference if you can hear what the their delivery is supposed to be like. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> world of difference. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, a, a little side. Now it's my turn. Oh, are oh, we? Yes, are sure. we gonna swap it? Uh, oh no, no wait, yes. you haven't swapped. You haven't swapped. Nathan's got. 
Yeah, Nathan's got one more thing he wants to say, though. A little side note on that is, and this is a trick that I've done, and um, it works for me. I don't know if it would work for anyone else, but is is if I have another character that I'm reading alongside of, and being that I'm here by my little lonesome in the middle of the sticks, um, I'm not going to have somebody else to read with me. So I basically dive into the other character's role and read mm-hmm. alongside as that other character. Huh. And uh, it's got me through quite a bit of stuff doing animation. And uh, yeah, that's way yeah. better. Yeah, got me through an entire audition because I had no note on what character they wanted me to audition for. They just said, "Here's the copy. Try them all." <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> How do you want it? <laughs> and it, it came back. Okay, um, yeah. we loved that Joe Pesci style you gave this one character. Can you give it to this? other character and we'll take it. so i was like yeah i'll do that so got a second round on that one that's what's up anyway that's just a little side note on that and now flip and philip is the seneschal and gola is the inquisitor all right the estate was utterly stripped of joy when Lady Rosette disappeared. The dowager distraught hasn't taken supper in days. Days! I see. Is it possible she's been assassinated? <gasps> we don't talk like that. It's unthinkable. No, absolutely not. Not dead. Please, we're begging you. The Inquisition has access to resources, information. If anyone could locate Rosette, you can. Look, I have the lady's favorite things. Maybe these will help. A bell on a ribbon and a silk pillow? Not just any silk pillow. It's filled with honeysuckle and mint. She goes quite mad for the blend. And tell your men they might lure her out with salted cod, but only on Sundays. Wait. Lady Rosette is a cat? You sent an urgent missive asking the Inquisition for help in finding a lost cat? (gasps) She's not just... A cat? She is THE cat. Why, when Empress Celine was visiting the chateau, Lady Rosette slept curled about the Empress's head. Tell me, who else has dared embrace the Imperial crown in such a brazen fashion? Who else has been allowed to use so use the Empress's own person? Rosette is special. Even Celine knows it. Okay. And what did you all think of that, Reed? Good. Um... I, Philip, it was, your articulation was a little off in the beginning, so it was a little hard for me to understand you, but then toward the end, you were understandable. It made sense. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what I noticed, once again, it went a little loud. Oh. Did anybody oh, else yeah. get that? Yeah, I caught yeah, that yeah, too. Yeah. It was a little bit on the, on the louder side, leaning too much into the microphone. Already. Yeah, this is this is probably like a one-on-one sort of meeting. Maybe there's a few guards in and around the room, but you know, it's just the seneschal and the inquisitor. It's just one-on-one. With no need to. <clears throat> You're not right up in the in their face, grabbing them by the lapels and screaming <laughs> at them. <laughs> Have you seen the cat? Have <laughs> you seen the cat? <laughs> no. Um... I would actually have to disagree. Uh, Inquisitor Seneschal would be like in a room full of people and there would be multiple guards and hundreds line for uh, trying to get people in. Well, in a sense, but at the same time, the the conversation would be a little more uh, encircled around those two. You know, even though there's a large crowd of people or, or four or five guards and, and maybe a few of the uh, Inquisitor's men, um, predominantly they would be, you know, facing one another. Or even um, if they're not, there's still somebody's going to turn and look at the other one while they're uh, in the process of having this conversation. You know, being that the Seneschal is more than likely pacing back and forth and you know, looking this way and that, which means that you're not going to be entirely, totally zoomed in on the microphone, you know. So that kind of takes it away a little bit and, and, and brings it more into to 
that real feel of the scene. Uh, hmm. All right, then. Back and forth. Yeah. And, and you just pull back from the mic yeah. just a little bit. You know. All right. You got it. All right. From the top. Whenever you're ready. The estate was utterly stripped of joy when Lady Rosette disappeared. The dowager's distraught hasn't taken supper in days. Days! I see. Is it possible she's been assassinated? <gasps> we don't talk like that. It's unthinkable. No, absolutely not. Not dead. Please, we're begging you. The Inquisition has access to resources, information. If anyone could locate Rosette, you can. Look, I have the lady's favorite things. Maybe these will help. A bell on a ribbon and a silk pillow? Not just any silk pillow. It's filled with honeysuckle and mint. She goes quite mad for the blend. And tell your men they might lure her with salted cod, but only on Sundays. Wait, Lady Rosette is a cat? You sent an urgent missive asking the Inquisition for help in finding a lost cat. She's not just a cat, she is THE cat. Why, when Empress Celine was visiting the chateau, Lady Rosette slept curled about the Empress's head. Tell me, who else has dared embrace the Imperial crown in such a brazen fashion? Who else has been allowed to so use the Empress's own person? Rosette is special. Even Celine knows it. All right, and what did you all think of that read? <clears throat> It was good because I, in particular, I was listening for you to articulate better, not to over articulate, but just so I could understand you. And you did that, which is great. Good job, Philip. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. And, and, and you used more mic techniques, which, which pulled you out of everyone's face and then into the scene. <laughs> awesome. It even, sounded, it even sounded like you uh, shook your head a couple of times. It was awesome. Yeah, I was, I was sort of like doing a bit of back and forth, like Nate said, just, just a little bit. Yeah, because, I mean, if you, picture yourself, if you picture yourself in a scene where you've got the boom hanging over you and you're pacing back and forth, you know, or even if you're on a stage... You know, it's, it's going to sound and feel differently. And in this sense, you are on a stage, you know, and you're in this scene where you have this character that's moving back and forth and, and you know, possibly, more than likely, uh, 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 looking underneath of a couch or, or even picking up a cushion as if the cat's going to flatten itself out and be underneath the cushion. But, you know, people do that when they're freaking out and looking for something, you know? Yeah. It's like, it may be a big and bulky item, but I'm going to look under this cushion anyway, even if I was just sitting there. <laughs> so, so, very good. Yeah, thanks. Anyway... Who hasn't gone yet? I would like to go. Finally! I'll go. I would... Oh. I'll go. Or somebody yeah. else want to go? Oh, who's going? <laughs> I, I just wasn't sure who it is. Is that Joe? Yes. That's Joe. Joe, Joe. Joe and Sherry. Okay, who's doing what? Uh, I'll start out as Inquisitor. Okie dokie. <laughs> The estate was utterly stripped of joy when Lady Rosette disappeared. The dowager's distraught hasn't taken supper in days. Days! I see. Is it possible she's been assassinated? <gasps> we don't talk like that. It's unthinkable. No. No, absolutely not. Not dead. <sighs> Please, we're begging you. The Inquisition has access to resources, information. If anyone could locate Rosette, you can. Look, I, I have the lady's favorite things. Maybe these will help. A bell on a ribbon and a silk pillow? 
Not just any silk pillow. It's filled with honeysuckle and mint. She goes quite mad for the blend. And tell your men they might lure her with salted cod, but only on Sundays. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Lady Rosette is a cat. You sent an urgent missive asking the Inquisition for help in finding a lost cat. <gasps> She's not just a cat. She is the cat. Why, when Empress Celine was visiting the chateau, Lady Rosette slept, curled about the Empress's head. Tell me, who else has dared embrace the Imperial crown in such a brazen fashion? Mm? Mm? <laughs> who else has been allowed to use who else has been allowed to so use the Empress's own person? Rosette is special? Even Celine knows it. <laughs> nice touch Dummy. with the... Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Although it didn't really feel so much as like angry Nord as more as, I guess, very dramatic storyteller. That was pretty good I... with the indignant, though. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, it had that uh, keeping up appearances feel. Yeah, it did. He's running to pull up a piece of parquet floor and crawl under it when she got done with him. <laughs> <laughs> Pair up the scenery. We'll actually do. I had a good uh, crazy cat lady picture in my head while you were ranting at the end. <laughs> Thank you. Waving, waving yarn balls around and... <laughs> <laughs> I, I just, I, I could just, I just saw it's like, she's not just a cat, she is the cat. <laughs> <laughs> I loved watching you do that. It was great acting. Inquisitor, please take your shoes off. I don't want you tracking on my floor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Have you tortured anyone in the aristocracy recently? <laughs> It's on my review sheet. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was well played. I, uh, doing the whole thing with the hands. Uh, around the Empress's head. <laughs> Mind you, I'm pulling off a little bit of a different take on that sound. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who knows? I okay, may and then I what else? Try that later. But um, no, it was very good uh, across the board. I, I you know. Both performances, and you know, I, I could see the scene. So I, I didn't yeah. really catch anything unusual or out of the way. I don't know if anyone else did. No, no, that was it was a really solid read. <clears throat> Is it time to switch? Yeah, I think that's oh. the case right there. It's time okay. to switch. Wow! Switch One time. Take. One take. The estate was utterly stripped of joy when Lady Rosette disappeared. The dowager is distraught. Hasn't taken supper in days. Days! Mm, I see. Is it possible she's been assassinated? <gasps> we don't talk like that. It's unthinkable. No, absolutely not. Not dead, please. We're begging you. The Inquisition has access to resources, information. If anyone could locate Rosette, you can. Look! I have the lady's favorite things. Maybe these will help. A bell on a ribbon and a silk pillow? Not just any silk pillow. It's filled with honeysuckle and mint. She goes quite mad for the blend. And tell your men they might lure her with salted cod, but only on Sundays. Wait, wait. wait. Lady Rosette is a cat. You sent an urgent missive asking the Inquisition for help in finding a lost cat. She's not just a cat. She is the cat. Why, when Empress Celine was visiting the chateau, Lady Rosette slept curled about the Empress's head. Tell me, who else has dared to embrace the Imperial crown in such a brazen fashion? Who else has been allowed to use, so use the Empress's own person? Rosette is special. Even Celine knows it. Wow. Just wow. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Oh, wow. 
Wow. That was pretty good. Again, wow. great performance hey. on both parts. Uh, oh, wow. And, and, and I caught that rubato on, uh, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Virtual um, high five, Joe. Uh, wait, wait, hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, uh -oh. Something I noticed about the Inquisitor, though, the, the performance. Um, for some reason in my mind, I kept adding, oh, girl, to like half of what you said. It, it didn't... It didn't <laughs> uh, do you know what I mean? Do you get what I mean? Like, oh, I see. It's like, you know, you're talking to your friend. Is it possible she's been assassinated? Then I, I, yeah. I, I, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Do you see what I mean? A bell and a ribbon and a silk coat. Please. Wait, wait, girlfriend. Wait, wait. Girl, Lady Rosette no. is a cat. You send an urgent bit of asking the Inquisition for help in finding a cat? Okay. We, we need to do it both again as Blanche Dubois. What I mean is that will be Blanche, yes. What okay. what I what I mean by by what I'm bringing up is that I didn't. Feel it wasn't. I wasn't very. In, I wasn't um the the hard nosed inquisitor. Yeah, you haven't. I have, yeah, it didn't I feel like you've done this millions of times before. Like this is nothing new. Like you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> Government espionage. Yeah, you know, I do that. Yeah, it's a Tuesday for me. You know, that, that, that's not what it felt like. It okay. felt more like you okay. were talking to a close friend about some, you know, okay. crazy thing she saw. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Well, can we try it one more time then? Sure, let's do. Yes. Man, if I do a completely different take. Do it. Yeah, okay. go for it. The estate was utterly stripped of joy when Lady Rosette disappeared. The dowager is distraught. Hasn't taken supper in days. Days. I see. Is it possible she's been assassinated? <gasps> we don't talk like that. It's unthinkable. No, absolutely not. Not dead. Please, we're begging you. The Inquisition has access to... to Resources, information. If anyone could locate Rosette, you can. Look, I have the lady's favorite things. Maybe these will help. A bell on a ribbon and a silk pillow. Not just any silk pillow. It's filled with honeysuckle and mint. She goes quite mad for the blend. And tell your men they might lure her with salted card, but but only on Sundays. <sighs> My good man, Lady Rosette is a cat. You sent an urgent missive asking the Inquisition for help in finding a lost cat. She is. She's not just a cat. She is the cat. Why, when Empress Celine was visiting the chateau, Lady Rosette slept curled about the Empress's head. Tell me. Who else has dared embrace the imperial crown in such a brazen fashion? Who else has been allowed to so use the empress's own person? Rosette is special. Even Celine knows it. <laughs> All right. What did everybody think of that one? I like that older seneschal. That was a nice. I, like I do as well. Thank you. I do as well. I, I would have liked to have heard a little bit more of babbling and rambling separately, but mm -hmm. otherwise the character was was quite well done. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. The babbling would have been a good ad good addition. Yeah, especially with that older voice, you could have really pulled off the babbling. <laughs> and, yeah. and 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 you you almost you almost had you had the slightest little hint of rambling in there, but y mm -hmm. you chopped it up a bit too much for it to really fall into that. I feel. Mm -hmm. like you, you were you were close but not quite on the mark mm -hmm. um with the inquisitor not so sure i agree with the ad lib at the end okay uh, um I, I think so frantic rambling when, when he starts going he's just going to go and especially with that old man voice you know he's just going to go i think that wait is just is the stop sign it's you interjecting you have to you know like jump mm -hmm. in and say wait you know shut up you 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 called us to find a cat. Mm -hmm. You know, so I really wanted. I should have jumped on it faster. Yeah, but but on top of that, mm -hmm. I I don't know if I necessarily agree with the the ad lib that you threw in there. Mm -hmm. Um, at that point, I know, does anybody else disagree that they the 
do they think it you know it, it was a good addition or like you know what what, what did you all think about it mm. <clears throat> um, i mean i think that's like you you have to keep it professional like until the third line the third line is all like <laughs> wait a second what like well, even that, even that I still feel is pretty professional because this person is trying to get to the bottom of something they think is extremely important. Yeah. I mean, like... And they've been wasting the Inquisitor's time. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. They almost exactly. seems so that's putting indignant. your hands up and, you know, wait. Yeah, when it comes to the babbling, really, uh, back to the Seneschal, when it comes to the babbling, use that same character, use that same voice, but but let words muddle together and drown out a little bit. You're, you're talking to yourself mostly with the babbling. And when it comes to the rambling, just go. Just just do not stop, do not pause, just go. You're, you're starting on a roll, and that's, that's something that the Inquisitor needs to stop. Mm-hmm. So why don't you go ahead and try it again from the top. Beauty. The estate was utterly stripped of joy when Lady Rosette disappeared. The dowager is distraught, hasn't taken supper in days, days. I see. Is it possible she's been assassinated? <gasps> we don't talk like that. It's unthinkable. No, absolutely not. Not dead. Not dead. <laughs> Please. We're begging you. The Inquisition has access to resources, information. If anyone could locate Rosette, you can. Look, I have the lady's favorite things. Maybe these will help. A bell on a ribbon and a silk pillow. Not just any silk pillow. It's filled with honeysuckle and mint. It goes quite bad for the blend. I will tell your men you might lure her with salted cod, but only on Sundays. Uh, wait, Lady Rosette is a cat. You sent an urgent missive asking the Inquisition for help in finding a lost cat. She's not just a cat. She's the cat. Why, when Empress Selene was visiting the chateau, Lady Rosette slept curled about the Empress's head. Tell me who else has dared embrace the Imperial crown in such a brazen fashion. Who else has been allowed to use, so use the Empress's own person? Rosette is special. Even Celine knows it. <laughs> Beautiful. Yes. yes. That was it. <laughs> Best read of the night. That was the Woo. money read. Yay. Okay, now high five, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> but do you see what I mean with the, with the rambling and then the stop? The, the, uh -huh. How did that feel for you guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a good bit of... Uh, uh, variance and color to add in there to because he's what he's saying really doesn't actually matter very much exactly yeah. exactly that's why it's rambling that's why yeah. you're just, mm -hmm. just going off you're too emotionally distraught to think hey wait maybe this consummate professional doesn't really need to know that the silk pillow is filled with honeysuckle and mint <laughs> you know yeah. yeah no and you guys you guys threw that together Perfectly. I, I, I don't know. I loved the read. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. It was. Thank fantastic. you. It was fantastic. Oh, let's see. You know what? I haven't gone yet, but it appears everyone has been paired up with someone. I got nobody. You know, Nate, <laughs> I haven't read with you in forever. Ah. I don't think you and I have actually read a script together for a long time now. No, we haven't. It's Would you like to? Yes. Wait, hang on. Hmm. Has, wait, has anybody else not gone? Did you um, miss I th I believe we've got everybody. I've been making a list of who's been in here, and that way... And checking it twice? Yes. <laughs> has, has Dan gone? Yeah, Dan went first or second, right? Yeah, it was Dan was first. Oh, yeah. First, yeah. it was Dan and John. I was on my phone. I went. And then Ian yes. and Michael and Phil and Goldie and then Joe and Sherry. And, and that left poor old Nathan on his own. Sorry, poor young Nathan. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> not that I haven't done things on my own in here before, because well, you know. Well, that's not I, the point of the mic check. I have. I have created other characters to read alongside of plenty of times 
It's got me through okay. lots of sessions. <laughs> so Nathan, who would you like to do? Who would you like to play first? I will do the seneschal. Okay. I'm going to have to move this stool. <laughs> Out, out stool. There. Ding, ding, ding. We got the master's a little room out. to get animated. The estate was utterly stripped of joy when Lady Rosette disappeared. The dowager's distraught hasn't taken supper in days. Days. I see. Is it possible she's been assassinated? Oh, we don't talk like that. It's unthinkable. No, absolutely not. Not dead. Uh, please, we're begging you. The Inquisition has access to resources, information. If anyone could locate Rosette, you can. Look, I have the lady's favorite things. Maybe these will help. A bell on a ribbon and a silk pillow? Not just any silk pillow. It's filled with honeysuckle and mint. She goes quite mad for the blend. A and tell your men they might lure with salted cod, uh, but, but only on Sundays. Wait. Lady Rosette is a cat. You sent an urgent missive asking the Inquisition for help in finding a lost cat? She's not just a cat. She is the cat. Why, when Empress Celine was visiting the chateau, Lady Rosette slept curled about the Empress's head. Tell me, who else's dad embraced the Imperial crown in such a brazen fashion? Who else has been allowed to so use the Empress's own person? Rosette is special. Even Celine knows it. Mm -hmm. All right. What did everybody think? Mm. Um, I personally would have put a little more anger in the end, but I mean, overall, I think pretty pretty darn good. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Nathan, I noticed a lot in your reads. You had the same uh, cadence all the way through your reads. Okay. I'd, I'd like to see you vary up the speed a little bit here and there. Okay. Like with the babbling and rambling, those tend to be a little bit quicker. Did anybody else notice that? Am I the only one? I agree. Yeah, just uh, okay. I, I like the I like the voice though. Keep if you can keep yeah, the voice and the and voice. the pace, yeah. Okay. The estate was utterly stripped of joy when Lady Rosette disappeared. The dowager's distraught hasn't taken supper in days. Days. I see. Is it possible she's been assassinated? <sighs> we, we don't talk like that. It's unthinkable. Oh, absolutely not. Not dead. Uh, please, we're begging you. The Inquisition has access to resources, information. If anyone could locate Rosette, you can. Look, I have the favor... Look, I have the lady's favorite things. Maybe these will help. A bell on a ribbon and a silk pillow. Not just any silk pillow. It's filled with honeysuckle and mint. She goes quite mad for the blend. And tell you men they might lure with salted cod, uh, but, but, but only on Sundays. Wait. Lady Rosette is a cat. You sent an urgent missive asking the Inquisition for help in finding a lost cat cat she's not just a cat she is the cat why when empress celine was visiting the chateau lady rosette slept curled about the empress's head tell me who else has dared embrace the imperial crown in such a brazen fashion who else has been allowed to so use the empress's own person rosette is special even celine knows it All right. What did everybody think? <laughs> Stunned. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. You left him speechless. Mm, enjoyed it. I heard more of the variation that you were looking for from Nathan. Yeah, me too. I, I don't really have any more notes for, you know, mm -hmm. for the performance. 
Yep. I'd like I to hear Michael do the Inquisitor as Batman. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I keep on hearing that. All right, line. who can be the Joker? Who can wait, be which? Uh, yeah. Oh wait, what were you saying, Miss Golda? I was saying I keep on reading. Once I read it this way, I keep on reading the first line as if if this was like a new Inquisitor <laughs> employee, and this is his first job, and he's hoping it's going to be something really big. And he says, <laughs> "I see." Could she be? A, could he be assassinated? Like that would be the most exciting. I hope thing so. Ever. <laughs> Gosh, if she's dead, that would be really cool. Yes. <laughs> oh, Lee, I love this for my first job. <laughs> <laughs> so, am I coming off as too amateur then? No, 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 no. That oh, was no, just no, no, no. Read that I oh, like okay. no, it was I think she was thinking of. She's just making things up. <laughs> I see. Oh, Is it possible she's been assassinated? Exactly. <laughs> then that could work because then or maybe the they kidnap with terrorists. <laughs> we don't talk like that. What is wrong with you? Yes. <laughs> well, either this we do it or read, or we switch. Oh yeah. Well. Yes. I say I say switch. Okay. Okay. The way you get to hear Nathan's serious voice. Oh no, Nathan doesn't get the goof. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. He has to make it work. All right. The estate was utterly stripped of joy when Lady Rosette disappeared. The Dowager is distraught, hasn't taken supper in days. Days! I see. Is it possible she's been assassinated? <gasps> we, we don't talk like that. Let's think about it. No, I'm absolutely not. Not that. Please, we're begging you. The Inquisition has access to resources, in information. If anyone could locate Rosette, you can. Look, I have the lady's favorite things. Maybe these will help. A bell on a ribbon and a silk pillow? No, no, no not just any silk pillow. It's filled with honeysuckle and mint. She goes quite mad for the blend. And, and tell your men they might lure her with salted cod, but only on Sundays. It's just that she's very particular about what she eats. Wait. Lady Rosette is a cat. You sent an urgent missive asking the Inquisition for help in finding a lost cat? She's not just a cat. She's the cat. Why, when Empress Selene was visiting the chateau, Lady Rosette slipped curled about the Empress's head. Tell me, who else has dared embrace the imperial crown in such a brazen fashion? Who else has been allowed to use the Empress's own per so use? Who else has been allowed to so use the Empress's own person? Rosette is special, even Celine knows it. I like Nathan's serious voice. <laughs> I think Nathan needs to do a Daft Duck or Bugs Bunny voice for the Inquisitor. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then, and then, Michael, you had good pace on yours too. You didn't rush t through it too much. It was right there. It was good. Thank you. Well, dynamic. <laughs> I haven't used that one in a while. Yeah, I know. I was wondering for a little bit, where'd that go? Mm. Well, it is eight after nine. <laughs> we have come to the end of the mic check. And this has been fantastic, guys. You are great actors. You really are. <laughs> All of you. And, uh, well, we don't know what we have coming next week just yet, but... Only I do. And we I don't will know. be here next week, and it's going to be a fantastic mic check. And for all of you Americans that join us, happy Thanksgiving, because this is Thanksgiving week, Turkey Day. Yes. And uh, for those Woo! who are doing the Black Friday thing, well, have fun watching the people fighting and enjoying the lamentation of the cashiers. Anyway. Yeah, good hey. luck. Make sure to bring body armor. Yes. And hey, if you missed us. We're on YouTube, and join us, Voice Artists United, 
the VAU Mic Check group on Facebook. We're all there. We can give each other a leg up. You know, hey, you need assistance with a script. Michael's there. I'm there. Hey, we are all here to help you to improve your voiceover and have some fun. So see you next week and bye. Take it easy.